I learned I had HIV in the year 2000. That's when doctor told me, look, I think you are an elite controller where their blood kills HIV. When you go back to your country, I believe that your case should be studied. Elite controllers are able to control the HIV viral load to undetectable levels for an extended period of time, despite not taking any antiretroviral therapy. They are the perfect candidates to study because understanding and trying to mimic their genetic makeup using some sort of therapeutics intervention would help us design better therapies. The frequency of elite controllers around the world has been less than 1%. But individuals of elite controller phenotype are starting to increase within individuals on African descent. Well, you've been uh, very resilient and, uh, and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure working with you and uh, yeah, to have you as part of this study. Thank you very much. And hopefully it can lead to uh, new uh, breakthroughs. Elite controllers appear to have a unique genetic makeup. They have favorable HLA class one molecules, and that enables them to present the virus much better to the immune system, and that enables the immune system to recognize the virus much better, and then that leads to effective control of the virus by the immune system. But actually that is only true for about 60%. So that means there's about 40% of elite controllers who are still controlling the virus, but don't have that favorable genetic makeup, we have another cohort. We identify individuals with acute HIV infection. We screen them twice a week. We then put them on antiretroviral treatment immediately. The reason we are studying both elite controllers and individuals post-treatment, these studies are geared towards understanding what is the contribution of genetic makeup to viral control. It was 2018. It was a painful day for me because I had a miscarriage. So that's how I found out that I was HIV positive. I have to process for losing the child and finding out that I was HIV positive. I've decided that I have to do something about it. I have to be strong for my first daughter and think about my family. In 2019, I started my treatment and that is problem. It teaches us a lot, it tells me a lot to understand more about this disease and I'm not afraid. I still have hope for life. Africa's human genomes only represent 2% of the world's human genomes that have been sequenced thus far. So, we clearly don't know a lot about African genomes. What's unusual about studying HIV in Africa is that individuals present a whole range of different type of disease outcomes. So the idea here is to identify mutations that are found within individuals of African descent and how does that associate with disease progression. Before the SAMRC Genomic Center launched in 2019, we didn't really have many of these high throughput machines in the country to enable human genome sequencing. The partnership with the MGI to have their technology and their workflow enabled in our laboratory meant that we could offer cost-effective genomic sequencing to our researchers. The data housed at the MRC, we see ourselves as custodian to this data set, sharing it with our collaborative teams to enable these endpoints that we are now seeing. My hope for the future is that understanding the human genome in Africa will contribute to better therapeutics that are specifically designed for individuals of African descent, and that will give the rest of HIV-infected participants around the world hope.
I'm very excited about our new ambition to launch a national 110,000 human genome program for South Africa. It would mean that we would have created a resource for our healthcare system, addressing a very, very big gap. I'm very grateful for scientists who have started this research and have been a participant of it for the last 15 years in the hope that HIV can be combated. I'm very grateful. It's been six years, but I'm still alive and I'm healthy and I'm beautiful, I know. <laughs> and still have that hope that our kids and the next generation will be free from HIV and AIDS.